<laughs> this works perfectly. What's going on everybody tonight? I'm gonna to show you how to make a raised fish finder mount. That's pretty sweet. Out of an old razor scooter. Let's go. Alright, so I have no idea what I'm doing. But I think this is a fairly decent idea for a couple reasons. I'd like a taller mount, and this thing has this functionality to tilt and lock. Oh, that's good, right? So I can have it up high and then tilt it down flat on the deck. I can go up and down with it as well. It's pretty snappy, especially for uh, something that someone was going to get rid of. We're going to have to get rid of this motion. First thing we need to do, I'm going to try really hard not to use the welder. Because I know a lot of you probably don't have a welder, and it may not be entirely necessary. A lot of this is aluminum anyway, so my MIG welder is not going to do so hot on that. So anyway, we're going to take this guy off and see if we can detach the stuff. Right, so in this particular guy, there are some hex Allen heads, size 4. Assuming this thing kind of falls apart after this. Look at that. Comes right out. So now I've got like this surface I can bolt to. Ah, that'd be nice. Problem with it is it's not a true 90 degrees. Take off this wheel. You get a better look here. Hold on. We're gonna have to get rid of this swivel movement. You can probably just tighten these nut and make that bearing pretty much lock up. Let's try that real quick. We took this guy loose. I'm assuming this guy comes apart. Like so. Then you got this guy. It's got double net here. Alright, so I got it in the vise. I'm gonna try and find whatever size this joker is. They're an inch and sixteenth. Ooh, way bigger. Inch and a quarter. So what the thought is here is break this guy loose and see if we can't just jam up the bearing. Oh yeah, that's gonna work too. Get this out of the way. So what we want to do is kind of line this up so it's parallel. That's really tight. Um, the good thing is we can adjust it later. Whereas if you were to drill it, you kind of get one shot at it. And then we we'll jam it. Okay. Liking this so far. So what we did is we locked this up. I mean, I bet I can turn it if I got really upset with it. But I don't think we need to worry about that just yet. So let's put this guy back on. It just kind of sits on there. Oh, we have an adjustment here. So I could do that. All right, so if I can get this perfect, I can just this here. And this guy just, uh, it's a little threaded, but it's kind of a slotted deal. Now, it's pretty much, I mean, it's pretty much jammed up. I'm not, I can turn it, can turn it, can confirm. But it's not just going to sit there and spin, so I'm not too worried about it. It's jammed up there with the, with the jam nut. I would like to fix it so that it's perpendicular just because... The engineer in me that's really bothering me that when I put it like this, it's not straight. I'm gonna have to get over that. Okay, these guys are gonna have to get cut off. Let me pop this out. That guy just popped out. This guy onto this. What is looking like a pretty favorable solution actually is one of these Scotty mounts. Let me take out this. GM something. This is like something so you don't have to overextend it. Should be able to pop this whole thing out. I think. Or not. Just like, it's interesting though, you take a Scotty mount, <laughs> that Joker fits in there perfectly. Now, what I did is I just lost the ability to go up and down quite a bit. That's pretty cool though. So what I may need to do is order another one of these bases. I think they're, I'll put a link in the description. I think they're probably 13, 15 bucks, something like that. Watch this. Now line it up just right. It goes. Is that, that's in there. 
I can't pull it out. This does spin, so you can get some swivel action. <laughs> this works perfectly. Um, this is far more successful than I thought this would be out of the gate. I don't even know that I need a second sky mount. I can unhook the connections, open this up, pop out my Scotty mount, and put it on my kayak. And not even use any tools. This is fantastic. This is like an engineering marvel. I'm going to tighten this up just a hair. The only thing I need to do right now is cut these forks off. Easy not. So here's why I end up with. If I was in the trash, I'm going to deburr this just ever so slightly. I can get to that. Slight crop. I mean, there's some slop in here. I don't like that at all. I don't know that there's a way around that. I don't know that I'm going to accept that. I think we can do that. Let's take it apart. Famous last words. Shall return. Alright, so I'm back. Equipped with needle nose by Scourge to grab the spring. So inside here is the spring. I'm going to grab it with these needle nose and take it off that pin there. Okay. Spring is off. It did not get sent into orbit. That's good. It's pretty bad. I got a camera too hot warning while the camera's in my garage. It's still 90 degrees outside. It's 8 o'clock at night. But I do have the AC back on. So that helps. But uh, what I did was this. Um, I took this pin out, which is the bottom pivot for this guy, and the thought is to replace it with this 5 16th bolt and very important an analog type nut. The reason why I want to do that is because I'm going to set increase the tension on this, so it should be a little bit harder to pivot, but it should be tighter in general. So let's try that. Close this thing out. Move my home. Five sixteenths. That's perfect. I want to say this is probably a two-inch bolt. Don't pull me on that. I should get the right size now. Luckily, I have a giant bolt bin over there. All kinds of brand new hardware. That's what you get when you build a car and buy all kinds of crap that you never use. So now we're going to tighten this up. The reason why you want to use that nylock though is because you can set tension. You use a regular nut. It's just going to back up. Guaranteed. So what I'm doing is I'm tuning it now to where it's like just getting tighter. Let me go ahead and put the uh, spring back on. It's just fine. Uh, I like that. That's pretty, that's pretty tight. All right, so I think that's it. Uh, obviously, we got rid of the super extension. You can definitely figure that out. Do that. If I had to figure it out, I'd cut this off so I had an open tube. I'd probably trim down the Scotty mount a little bit, plop the Scotty mount in there, and screw through it. And I guarantee you get the extension. I really don't think I need it. The center of the head unit is 26 inches. That's up there. Let's go put it in the boat. There's a guy that practices with a bagpipe kind of behind my house. It has to be my least favorite sound in the world. I just don't like it. That's a done deal. I think this is going to work. Let's go get the head unit. I keep it in this little flambeau case. I forgot where I got it from, but it's pretty cheap. And there we go. So hopefully you like that. It's a little bit wonky because it is a kid's toy <laughs> scooter mount. But it's way up there, and I think it's going to be fan friggin tastic So but if you like what you see in the video, please give me a like below and consider subscribing to the channel. And I'll show you how this thing works out in the water.